Hey guys, it's me Astrid, and today I got some new orchids. <laughs> it's not even March, and I still keep getting orchids, but all the vendors seem to be putting out their dendrobiums now because it's dendrobium blooming season apparently, right after winter starts warming up. So there's a bunch of new varieties in the store, and I'm really excited about it. So let's look at this first. Um, in the tradition of Miss Orchid Girl nicknaming her no IDs, um, I decided I would remember to nickname a bunch of my orchids today. I like to give them nicknames even if they do have an ID because, well, I think it's pretty cute. So, um, yeah, this one is a Dendrobium kingianum. It smells really like warm honey. It just has a very warm honey smell. If you have a spoonful of honey over your under your nose or this orchid under your nose, you might not be able to tell the difference. The fragrance is pretty soft. I've smelled some Dendrobium kingianums in the store that had a pretty kind of sharp, powdery smell. A little bit like old lady perfume, you know, that one old lady perfume that you always smell that all the old ladies wear too much. It's that one. So I decided to not get that. Um, this orchid is touted as like the easiest orchid to grow ever. So um, apparently it will just keep growing and growing for me. But I have heard and read that it is a bit of a challenge to get it to rebloom. So I might just pop it in the fridge next winter. Um, who knows? But now it's in bud. Now it's going to throw up all these blooms. So I have a year to worry about getting it to rebloom. I'm just going to enjoy it. So yeah, this one, it does have a tag, but it's kind of ambiguous. Den Specie Kingianum Madam. Um, I think the week is when it was planted, but I've nicknamed it Jadzia Dax. It just seems like a Jadzia to me. If you guys don't know Jadzia Dax, she was a Trill, who was a science officer in Deep Space Nine, and she married Worf, and that was my OTP of all OTPs. Like, I couldn't even believe it when they got married. It was amazing. So yeah, this is my Den Kinkianum. It's my first Dendrobium. And then today, I was really sad, and my mom helped me um, get my car out from being towed. I made such a stupid mistake. I parked my car to actually take this orchid into my room. And then I forgot my car was parked, not in my designated parking spot. I was going to go back out and repark it. And I just forgot because I'm really stupid. So unfortunately, my car got towed and I was like so sad this morning. My mom went to Trader Joe's with me to get some crumpets. And then she bought me these two orchids, the one in the background and then this um, Dendrobium nobly type. This is my second Dendrobium, my first ever Dendrobium nobly type. This one didn't come with a tag. I know it's Dendrobium nobly, and I nicknamed it Nicki Minaj because who can argue with this amazing, like, flamboyant purple color? It's so Nicki, I think. And I love Nicki. And it kind of goes with her pink print album cover, but, you know, that's... Well, anyway, this is my Nicki Minaj orchid. It's pretty fabulous and thick, like Nicki. Oh yeah. So, yeah. It's really, really tall. The blooms are slightly fragrant, but I can't really place what they are. I guess I'll just have to wait another day um, to see what they wind up smelling like. But yeah, this is my Nicki Minaj orchid. I love it. And then we come over here. This is actually um, has an ID. Um, it's not confirmed because so many intergeneric oncidiums are so, so diverse, like ridiculously all over the place. So. You can never be sure, but I did look it up. This one's called the Oncidium Heaven Scent Redolence, and I nicknamed it Esther after my mom since she did buy this for me today. It's got um, a new growth coming up here. Its pseudobulbs are nice and fat, but it is packed in sphagnum moss, so I do want to repot it pretty soon. This has an amazingly sweet scent. It's sort of a vanilla, very sugary, very, very sweet. And the flowers are nice and tiny. See how big they are compared to my fingernail? Nice, tiny, beautiful little flowers. And I'm just, I just think they're wonderful. This one's fully in bloom, so I don't expect the bloom duration to be that long now that it's home. But if I'm lucky, maybe it'll give me another spike. And if not, Oncidium types are so easy for me to grow that I'll just have plumes again next year and it'll be fine. So yeah, 
I've got these three orchids. Um, I'm not sure how to care for the Dendrobium kingianum and the Dendrobium nobili yet, but I'll have to learn that. And finally, I've got one more orchid I've been meaning to show you. So this is my Odontonia papagenomia more. It's been in bud for the whole time. It's not fully open yet, and it seems to have a very light, sweet fragrance as well. I'll maybe make a special video about it if its fragrance comes out. Normally the blooms seem a little bit brighter pink, but mine's more really whitish and very faint pink. I like this because it has a very similar flower shape to the Nelly Eiler. It has those mostly pointy leaves on top and this beautiful frilly lip and a nice little mask on it. And I just think that's great. My boyfriend got this for me for Christmas, but its shipping got delayed until like January, late like January or February. So, <laughs> so yeah. Here's how my new Papiopetalum is opening. Super weird. We'll see if it opens all the way, but I have no idea. Sometimes they bloom freaky once and then they bloom normal next, but these are all from seeds, so you'll never know exactly what your path is gonna look like. So yeah, now I've got 20 orchids. I'm in the 20 club, Oh yeah. Thanks guys so much for watching, and hey, thanks Danny for inspiring me and reminding me that I should give all my orchids little nicknames. Maybe I'll do a nicknames video sometime. But yeah, thanks so much, have a great day, happy growing!